way, I do want to thank Wolf Lion. I see him in the chat. Over. Take it to the house. I'm about to touch down. Change living levels. Come on, go. Come on, go. Yeah! But they fool. We do it big. I know you wish you could. Welcome to Wolf Lion Sports Talk. I'm your host, Coach Mike Jones, formerly of Lunchtime Detroit Lions Talk, brought to you by Detroit Lions on the Pro YouTube channel. Shout out to Kurt Steele, LL Cool Torrance, Valerie Bordeaux, and the rest of my Proud Nation family. But y'all already know, man, this is from my Michigan Wolverines and my Detroit Lions. We are Team Wolverine. And we're trying to take over YouTube, man. Hey, like the video. Share the videos. Subscribe to the channel. Help me get this content out to more Wolverine fans like yourself. You know, we love our Michigan Wolverines and our Detroit Lions, man. This is Wolverine. And do me a favor. Comment on the videos, man. I love to hear your opinions about the topics. Or maybe you want to share topics with me that you think that I should cover. Um, I definitely would love to hear that, man. I love to chat it up, talk with, with, with everybody, man. I'm, I'm a social person, man. I, I like that, man. And, um, you know, if you kind of don't want to be on the spot, you know, you kind of want to slide me something, you know, kind of quick on the side, man, but you don't want everybody to be all in your business, you can email me, wolverine at wolverine.net. I'll get back to you. A few people have emailed me already, and I told you all, man, I get back to you, man. I'm, I, don't, I don't do this for play play. I, Mike Jones do this for fun. Um, no, I'm just playing, man. But uh, also, hey, go over to www.wolverlion.com and check out this all-white Wolverlion t-shirts, man, for only $10. And while you're there, stop by the poll and let me know which Wolverlion products that you want released at the beginning of the season. Because at the beginning of the football season, I will be releasing the full entourage of Wolverlion products. So, And I don't want to release something that you don't uh that you don't want so y'all can go on the poll vote let me know which products that you want and i'll get those to you by the start of the season but uh let's get into this man um this article came out yesterday um it uh, got some bad pushback in the media pushback from myself i'm not gonna name the writer or where he got it from because you know i feel like you know sometimes people should just you know be left in the in the dark like that but y'all know who i'm talking about um so the article came out i don't i don't want to misspeak so let me bring it up um so the article came out and uh it, the person said james williams judgment can easily be called into question again after lighting fireworks um, and then the little, the little subtitle underneath says, if a gambling suspension wasn't enough, James Williams' judgment can be now called into question again. So I'm like, I'm like, man, what is JMO doing? Then I go down to, uh, the picture and I, or the little, uh, Twitter video and it's Jamison Williams lighting a firework on the 4th of July. That was it. Um, it didn't even show the firework going off. It just showed him lighting the firework. He posted on his Twitter page or Instagram page. I'm not sure which one it was, but um, it was a tweet um, that ended up. And it's, and and um, it comes back to this article, and it's like, man, I understand we're in the dry spot right now. I understand that, you know, there's, there's not a whole lot to write about. You don't want to be repetitive with the same, um, you know, articles being written here and the same article being written here and the same article being written here because there's so many people who write about the lines. There's so many people who report on the lines. There's so many podcasts and you don't all want to do the same thing. But at the same time, you don't want to sit there and paint a picture that's not even it doesn't even have a background. You don't want to create a background to paint a picture, um, especially a bad picture. Um, you know, when you when you're a Lions writer, a Lions sport writer, sports writer, you don't want to be the person who is shedding negative light on a future star, a, a guy that we all want to see. We all want to see Jameson Williams. Um, just break out in the NFL, take over and dominate. And when you come out with articles like this, 
You know, Jamison Williams' judgment can easily be called into question after lighting fireworks. Like, like man, like you're you're searching for a story, and and it's not it's not good because there was some bad pushback um, in these tweets that um, that that I seen, and um, even even a, a local sports writer. Um, you know, I'm not gonna uh, leave his name out, but even he was like, you know, like kind of making fun of it, poking at it. Um, there were different pictures of guys, you know, on Twitter, like, oh, no, I'm lighting fireworks, you know? <laughs> and uh, it's like, man, you know, you can be, you can be, um, there is some caution that you got to take when you do certain things. I understand that, but um, you can't, you can't avoid everything. Like, you still have to be able to live your life. You still have to be able to do things. Like, he's basically saying, like, receivers should never light fireworks like i don't know if that's a clause if that clause even even exists in contracts but um like you still gotta be able to live your life and and i can understand if this was coming from a bears fan or maybe a vikings fan or maybe a packers fan or um maybe even a chiefs fan because as the chiefs you're worried about possibly the nfl pa stepping in and saying uh you know what Let's reduce the suspension or let's um, uh, eradicate the suspension and let's just say it's something else and make him take classes, something like that. You're worried about that. So, yeah, I can understand those fan bases um, pushing to, you know, pushing negative light on it, but not not one of our own, not a guy who um, writes about the Lions. Like, you know, even... You know, you can tell when a guy um, like Mike Valenti, when he's not from Michigan, or, you know, and, or you can tell when this writer or those guys either aren't from Michigan or the Lions is not their favorite team because the fan base is hyped. The fan base is pumped. The fan base wants J-Mo. And for you to try to shed negative light, a negative perspective on it, it's just man, like you got, you got, you got the pushback, and and the tweet has since been uh, deleted. I don't know if the article has been deleted, but um, yeah, man, it's just this is not a good look, and uh, and 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 for future reference, man, like I'm not, I'm not hating on you, I'm not calling you a bad writer or anything like that, but if you do need something, something like that, man, you need an idea for an article, um. Jim Costa ain't the one, obviously. Uh, you can inbox me at Wolverine. <laughs> like I'm, I'm, I'm dead serious. You can inbox me. I'll throw you. I'll throw you something. Uh, you know what I'm saying? For one time, for free, I'll throw you something, man. And um, but yeah, man. Let, let's just not try and paint these bad pictures of, you know, of Jamison Williamson, man, because it just does nothing for him it does nothing it, it hurts him actually and Braylon Edwards said it best on Wolver Sports let me let you listen to it when a lot of people hit on you a lot of, you feel like a lot of people you feel like the world is on you and you're working hard you're still trying to fight for your thing and you feel like you're doing all you need to do but then you still read the comments you're still hearing people talk you start to lose faith you know you start to get mad like damn they don't see what I'm doing like man they don't mm-hmm. see that he said it right there, man. Um, yeah, man. So, like I said, man, we just need to not paint negative light on 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 the Lions, man. Um, we've done a good job so far of, of the Lions being put in a positive light. Let's not be the ones. Not let's not do it ourselves. Said the negative light on the Detroit Lions. But uh, let me leave a comment in the comment section, man. Let me know how you feel. I guess about what was but really wasn't <laughs> about Jameson Williams man I feel like the media keeps picking on him but uh hey man y'all y'all let me know what you what, what you think leave a comment in the comment section below man and um but y'all know how I do man it's some board we're going from the big house to four field go blue one pride I holla at y'all to the house I'm about to touch down she's living lavish so our shit is plushed out belly's big they fool.